It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers. All that and more coming up next. This is such a special place. You drive through the streets of Green Bay, no tall buildings, quaint houses, and then boom, right there in the middle of the neighborhood is iconic Lambeau Field. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Two teams that have met at least twice a year since 1932. The Lions and Packers underway from Lambeau. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And a nifty return there all the way across the 40. So the Packers make their way out for the first time. And it's Jordan Love that has the keys to the car here in his fifth season as a pro and second as a starter. And Love established himself as a legitimate franchise quarterback a season ago. And let's not forget, he had to exhibit a lot of patience waiting for his opportunity to become the man. And once he got that chance, he hit the ground running. The question now from the rest of the league, can he sustain that success? The Packers certainly believe he will. A first carry for the all-pro running back, it's Josh Jacobs. And he can only manage to get a couple Second and eight coming up. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Jacobs. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. Still going inside the 20. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first and goal. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I'd go right at him with another momentum play. I'd go quickly and attack him because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. Jacobs. Here's Jacobs. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Flushed out right. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Jordan Love, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are on the board first here this afternoon. Solid finish to the opening drive. And look, when you get down around the goal line, you have to account for his legs. We saw it right there. Yeah, that's the added dimension to the offense, isn't it? Remember what the offensive line coach told us earlier this week? I told my guys he's going to run it. We have to make sure he stays protected and give him an opportunity. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And it's good to make it 7-0 Packers. Five plays there on that drive. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run.
After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. And out come the Lions for their first drive behind their ninth-year quarterback in year number four with Detroit. It's Jared Goff. It's hardly an exaggeration to say that Goff has revitalized his career these last couple of years. And he's rewarded for it during the offseason as Detroit has certainly made sure everyone knows he's their quarterback for the future. It's clear that they believe in him, and he's done nothing to sway them from that belief. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run. Run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. In motion left goes a tight end. Play action. It's gone. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Blitz came there from the inside, and there just wasn't much resistance. No, not at all. That means that defensively, they timed it up perfectly and matched up perfectly. They drew all the blockers to the other guys, left a free runner back to the quarterback. And you know what a free runner turns into? What? A free hitter. So now following the sack, off and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. ground it's Jacobs to start the drive 54 yards rushing for him now in the ball game a quick burst there and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game here now second and four play fake here's love and this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Love looking to throw it. Short throw. He's got Kraft. And he is going to have a Packers first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, is going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Love. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 
13 yards, first down Packers. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Going back to Love. Short throw, he's got Kraft. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that will bring up second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots down the field. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 23. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Well, they can put him at a number of different places, in line, H-back, put him in the slot. In this case, they put him out wide. Matchup nightmare. Who are you going to send out to cover him? And he picks up a first down with that catch. Love now. That's to Kraft, the tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And there wasn't much room for the big tight end to do much after the catch. But at least he was able to pick up a solid gain to help his offense continue to move in the right direction. Just need a yard here. Second and one. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Jaden Reed, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Packers are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, and not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And it's good, and they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So that drive goes eight plays, and the result, a Green Bay score. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. Boy, you go three and out on your first drive, and that's not the way you want to start this drive either. Doesn't seem like they're really into it just yet. No, first four plays, you don't want to call it a disaster, but not looking very sharp. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Here's gone. That's caught. It's Sam Laporta. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down Lions on a pickup of 13. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. 
Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. Second and ten. Now it's gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. Well, partners, the first quarter too early to start talking about needing a comeback. They're down two touchdowns already, and that sack, that disrupts this drive. They need something to go right on offense, and they need it to happen soon. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 21. He'll give it to Jacobs to start the drive until about the 23. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Play action this time with Love. And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. That's a step in the right direction defensively here because you're facing this sizable deficit. They're going to need more plays like that. A good sack, though. Good effort there. And what you're hoping is, as you said, a step in the right direction. And that means it's something to build on. So you get the first one, and hopefully that can ignite them. And now they can make a few more plays and get back into this game. A dime look defensively for the Lions on third. Now Love. The decision to tuck and run gets him free, but that's not enough. Now it's fourth. Well, there were a couple of extra defensive backs in the game, so he really had nowhere to go with the football despite his search for an open receiver. So he has to take off and run for it, but he comes up well short of the line to gain. On fourth down, the Packers call on Daniel Whelan to punt. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Take it at the 37. Following the punt return here, there is someone shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Now gone. They'll get this underneath to Montgomery. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to bring up second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. 
That's to the tight end, the portal. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll motion the tight end across the formation. They'll fake the give. Now gone. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Eric Wilson, the blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. And that is the third sack this offensive line has allowed this first quarter. Yeah, that puts him on pace. Let me do the rudimentary math here. To be sacked 12 times in a game. I know he's not going to go for that. I wonder if it's going to reshape what they decide to do on offense in terms of play calling. Well, I can tell you what. When he popped up, shaking his head, frustrated right now behind center. Up the middle. It's Montgomery. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an out. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. It's a pickup of 12, and that'll set up a third down. I was pretty surprised there when they lined up to run it on second and long, but it worked out for him. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch the defense just right and break off a big run to help yourself out on the next down. They'll fake the handoff. Now go on. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. Well, he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure, and these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, they've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. Jack Fox now gets set to punt. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. And now the Packers get set to go. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10. the play fake love and that'll be knocked away it's incomplete quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating a defense with their eyes and their head movement in this case he just stared the receiver down that allowed for excellent coverage able to knock that one away after the incompletion here's second and ten from the 20 out of the shotgun it's love he has it complete to Christian Watson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. And that play came together really well for them as he found open space, makes the catch, and gets down to the one-yard line. You know he's kicking himself right now. He thought he had a chance to get a touchdown and put that in his ledger. Instead, his team gets a chance to cash in over these next few plays. And this one is incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Here's second and ten. Now a give to Jacobs running right. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. 64 yards rushing for him now to this point. That was another good run, and he's having an excellent day. And right now, I don't think his team could have any more confidence in handing him the football. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On play action. Love to throw. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. This is caught inside the 15. It's a big play there for Green Bay. 
42 yards. Boy, they've definitely come out of the gate smoking here in the first quarter. Whatever they've tried to run has worked. And there's another example right there. Game plan is one thing, but how about his accuracy? It's been exceptional. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing. Love. This will be caught at about the six. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the four, it's second and a couple. Here's Love. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Kirby Joseph. And the Lions are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Absolutely a golden opportunity missed there to add to their lead and really cap off an impressive drive because they've got the advantage and plenty of time to add to it. But on the flip side, plenty of time for an opposing comeback as well. So when you have the chance to distance yourself not just so early, partner, you know you don't want to let it slip away. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 42. In motion goes Patrick. After the interception, here's Gall. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. To throw is gone. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Jameer Gibbs, 43 yards. And the Lions have got it back to within a score. They went empty backfield, all their weapons out wide, so there, were, there really was no secret here to what they were going to do. No secret, but they still had to execute it, and they still had to protect the guy throwing the ball because oftentimes when you empty the backfield, people bring pressure at you. They managed to hold in there and successfully complete the touchdown pass. A try here for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. The long touchdown pass gets them six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Two. 
to throw now. Here's Love. Catch made by Watson on the out route. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. A gain of eight there on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and just a yard. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Love, they go play action now. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. But you can absolutely feel the thought process there. They just gave up the touchdown. So in the huddle, they're telling each other, you don't want to give it back now on a three and out. Nice job of making sure that they wouldn't, and they pick up the first down. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Through one corner, 14-7 our score. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football. From the 46, here's second and a couple. As they've got it as we resume action. Play fake. Here's Love. And that's incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. The offense on third down, they've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lob has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. to pass. Here's Jordan Love. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A big pickup of 38. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Jacobs going to try the middle. And a pickup of about four down inside the 10 to the 8-yard line. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. Facing a second and six from the 8. Love looking to throw it. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. Love from the gun. Down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. And now that brings up fourth down there. A loss of six yards on the sack. Well, we saw him score on the ground earlier in the ball game. This time, the defense says not so fast. Yeah, that's good scouting and good awareness, isn't it? Because you always have to be wary of him keeping it himself, especially in this part of the field. Because if he doesn't like what he sees, you know he'll take off and try and go for it himself. The kick by McManus is good. But now there is a penalty marker on the field, so let's see what this is about. And this is going to be roughing the kicker, an inexcusable penalty, Charles. You've worked so hard to hold him to a three-point kick. Now you give him the ball again with a chance for a touchdown.
So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Here's a handoff to Jacobs. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. 88 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. Second and goal from the one. Working out of the gun. Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Tucker Kraft, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Packers go up by two touchdowns. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point from McManus is good. And it's now 21-7. to so that drive, 12 plays in length. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And Detroit getting set to go now. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. The result only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and six. Here's gone. Throw to St. Brown, complete on the left side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Goff to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Here's gone. Oh, the ball comes out hit but they'll say it's incomplete part of what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated both levels doing their jobs in tandem the back helping the front the front helping the back the pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw it through contact and short of the sticks throwing again is gone that is caught Evades the tackler and now some space. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 36. 23 yards on the play. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. 
Now Montgomery running right. And yeah, they string that play out nicely. He stopped before he can turn up field. No gain, second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Now go off. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and seven. Back to throw. Golf. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Making that play on the pass rush, that's Devontae Wyatt. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Here's Jack Fox on to punt. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Packers offense and running back Josh Jacobs set to take over once more. And as a play caller, when you've got a guy who's running like this, you lean on him and your offensive line. He's had big hole after big hole to run through in this first half. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Here's Jacobs from the gun. A solid stiff arm. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Now Love. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. From the 39-yard line, here comes second down at six. Love. He'll complete this one to Watson. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Once again, it's Jacobs. 
And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Play action this time with Love. Touchdown, Packers! Christian Watson, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Packers have moved out in front by three touchdowns. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. McManus now for the extra point. He knocks it through. It's 28-7. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Detroit's offense ready to take over. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. I love it. It's gone. Open man right side is his running back. It's complete downfield. And he steps out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35. A big play there for Detroit. 43 yards. They made that way too easy for them. No one is supposed to be that open against an NFL defense. Once he caught the ball, there wasn't anybody close enough to stop it. And he was able to continue downfield after making the catch. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 31. Quick toss by Gaunt. And now a fumble. The ball's out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. And defensively, maybe an opportunity miss there. No doubt about it. When that ball's out, all you're thinking about as a defender is this is our chance to make a huge play. Instead, he's able to recover his own fumble. And Big usually, sigh of relief, huh? Yeah, usually those wide receiver fumbles, there's open space around for the defense, but not there. He hops right back on it. Throw caught by Raymond. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Goff now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. To the air again. Goff. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. First down marker at the five. It's second and goal. Goff now looking to throw. Rush coming in. He's taken down. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. 
I'm starting to wonder if this offensive line just simply doesn't like him. I mean, they've given up six sacks in this game. He's had nowhere to go, nowhere to run, and obviously nowhere to hide. And all those sacks in the first half, this is just complete domination. So now following the sack, off in the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. On third down, he'll drop to throw. That is incomplete. Green Bay up to the task there in coverage and forcing a fourth down. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. That's just 32 yards officially from the right hash. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Packers offense and quarterback Jordan Love heading back out onto the field. And he's had things all his way in this first half. The number's sensational as he'll look to add to them with another drive here. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run, pass, mix, and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, Maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action, and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. To throw now. Here's Love. He's got the hook up with Dobbs. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Throwing. Love. That's taken in by Watson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 more on that one and another first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brian Branch from the secondary in on the tackle. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and eight. Here's Love. Quick slant to Watson. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. To pass, here's Jordan Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. 
Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. A quick throw there is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Love from the gun. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Romeo Dobbs, 27 yards. And the Packers are able to widen their lead here in this first half. So the numbers are starting to pile up here early on. We have yet to reach halftime, yet that is already now four touchdown passes. Now McManus for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Lions offense and their running back getting set to go once more. And he has been a big component of the passing game so far. You see the numbers for this first half. This defense is going to need to find some way to key in on him because he is eating them up right now. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Trying to get something positive to happen here before the break, and they sure need it. They went for the big one, but it winds up incomplete. Now a second and ten. Now gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. And they call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. And I don't think there's any question that this offense is going to need to hit on a few more plays like this. It's been a difficult first half for them to say the least. And I do believe if they want to get back in this game, they need to start right now. It's kind of like making adjustments. If you try and wait into the half, it's probably too late. They need to get going right here. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Again, gone. He's got his 6-5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Here 
Here's gone. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Gone. He's got it complete to Gibbs. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw is gone. And the Packers give him nowhere to go, and they bring him down. The Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. They'll fake the give. Now gone. And they'll make sure he's touched down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that in-line point-of-attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. It was the Packers' leading man, quarterback Jordan Love, who turned in a solid performance in that first half. He was nothing short of amazing, throwing four touchdown passes to help push his guys out to a sizable halftime lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And they have had their problems moving the ball through the air as we take you through some of the action from earlier. This secondary has played about as well as you can. Many times they've left this quarterback with nowhere to go with the football. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Third quarter starting with a run from Montgomery. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The defensive line made pretty easy work of the offensive line that time. And people get tired of the cliche that the battle is won in the trenches. But it's a cliche because it's true. And how about the battle right there? One on the edge, and the ball carrier did not benefit. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Here's gone. He'll get this one to Patrick. And he's going to be down at the 35. Gain of seven. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I apologize in advance, partner, but the beef eaters on the interior of this D-line, you just know they were licking their chops on third and short. 
And yes, they were rewarded with a tasty dish, stuffing that one short of a first down. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. Forty-seven yard punt, a return of four. And they will take over first and ten. The home team's offense and their quarterback ready to go once more. And as we show you some of the highlights from earlier, he has been instrumental in getting his guys the lead as he looks to finish strong and close this one out. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And it's hard to imagine that the first half could have gone any better for them. So what's the approach here in the second half? Just continue to play smart football because they got the other team down and they feel good about the position they're in. The obvious thing people would say is just keep attacking, but I think you also have to be smart about it. Avoid turnovers. That's about the only thing that can derail you at this point. Attack, but make sure you take care of the ball. A partner still in the third quarter, but they've got this one well in hand and still airing it out with gusto and picking up some nice gains. And even in lopsided games like this, you don't really see starters get lifted or the foot come off the gas before the fourth quarter. No one wants to leave any doubt when they're playing well. They just want to continue the process. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. Play fake. Here's Love. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Oh, partner, just a second earlier, and they might have had him because they certainly thought they were going to close in and drop him behind the line of scrimmage, but he had just enough time to dodge the pressure, and he ends up getting yardage before being stopped. 38-yard line, second and nine. Love, they go play action now. Got his man, that's Luke Musgrave. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And now we've got a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Off the play fake, Love. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. And partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. Matt LaFleur, some confidence in his offense. His guy's going here on fourth down. Love looking to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. So after the conversion on fourth, here's first and ten just outside of the red zone. Now Love. Now he's got it. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Jaden Reed, two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Packers have got it on cruise control. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. McManus's point after is good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter.
After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Time for another look at this Lions offense. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Throw caught by Raymond. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Goff now to throw. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now again, running right is Montgomery. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. They're able to convert with a gain of four. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right. He's pretty much been completely neutralized. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, that ground game just continues to struggle to really get any momentum in this ball game, Charles. And I mean, you're at the point here, third quarter, down four scores, probably going to have to put it in the air. Oh, no question about it. So that's your only chance, your only opportunity. But think of the pressure you just put on your offensive line because if you're a pass rusher, you're not even thinking about them running the football. All you're doing is getting into that sprinter stance and going after the quarterback. And this throw incomplete. Now the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Back to throw, gone. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 17-yard line. That gain on third down, good for 28. What a drive this has been, just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet as they finally get down into the red zone and look to finish this off with six. Goff now looking to throw. There's Laporta, and he's got it. Touchdown, Lions. From 17 yards out, and the Lions are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Now the extra point try forthcoming. And that will cut this lead down to 25. So this drive spans seven plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. 
The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. And as we look back at how we got here, you'll notice a common theme in these highlights. A lot of yardage through the air. The passing game has been sharp right from the outset. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Still comfortably on top, third quarter, as they start things here with a first and ten. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Love. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. And when you have success throwing the football, the old cliche becomes true. The playbook opens up wide, and these screen passes, they become even more difficult to stop. to throw now here's love short throw he's got Kraft and taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40 the catch and run good for 18 and a first down well I certainly don't want to pile on but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game and this continues as we see here coverage not been very good soft in spots and there's an easy throw and catch for another first down So the ball moves from their own 41 to the other 41 here for first and 10. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. The tackle there by Ben Neiman. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Here's second and five now from the 37. Love now. A quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Textbook coverage right there. Played the ball. Never lost sight of where it was headed and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it. Able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. On play action. Love to throw. Rolling to his right. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. No surprise to see his sideline fired up by that big play. Heck, we're fired up, and we're supposed to be neutral. That's a quarterback putting his body on the line to fight and just barely get the first down. When he does something like that, it gets everyone ready to lay it all out there and try and match his intensity. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Christian Watson with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers extend their lead yet again. So add another one into the touchdown column. What a game. That is now six touchdown passes for him so far in this one. Now McManus to tack on the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Oh, 
a dangerous return man showing it here. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Another shot now for this Lions offense. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. You've got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Off play action. Here's Goff. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, the pressure, the hits, the sacks have been coming at him all game long. I'm frankly surprised that they haven't found a solution yet to create more time for him to throw it or maybe change what they do on offense. And yeah, that's one of the biggest differences in this game and why they're losing right now. Now Goff. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Here comes the Lions punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Take it in at the 22. A 46-yard punt, eight yards on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he had it going in the first half, that's for sure. He's really had his way with his secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. And he'll look to keep it rolling right here. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. Well, this offense, this team, they are rolling right now, Charles. They've scored on three straight possessions. You look at the scoreboard, and they pretty much right now got this thing on cruise control. Yeah, and this is that time of game where you and I have to be prepared, right? Isn't this kind of like that empty the bucket time where you have to go into your blowout material and make sure we have some different things? That's what we're staring at right now, the way this one is going. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. To pass, here's Jordan Love. Over the middle here, it's hauled in by Watson. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 35, here's second down and one. Here's Jacobs. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people wanted to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Running is Jacobs. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, 
You should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Here's Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 17-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Lambeau Field, one of the best home field advantages in the NFL, no doubt. And they're a happy bunch here as the Packers lead third quarter. He finds his man complete. It's Reed. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. But they've certainly not shied away from throwing the footballs. They've leaned on their quarterback to start this game. Four straight passes right out of the gate with that last one earning them a new set of downs. Throwing. Love. Touchdown! Tucker Kraft. A beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Packers get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. So that is going to tie an NFL record that has stood for more than 70 years. Seven touchdown passes in one game. It was first done by Sid Luckman of the Bears in 1943, then by Adrian Burke of the Eagles in 54, and now that mark equaled here in this one. McManus now for the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And the result, a Green Bay score. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now? Is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 26. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Here's a second and three now from the 33. Goff now looks to throw. Into the hands of Patrick, left side. Touchdown, Detroit! Tim Patrick, 67 yards. And the Lions are able to at least get one score back. And they just ran the fly route there, didn't they? You broke it down perfectly. He ends up catching that one and taking it all the way into the end zone. Well, thanks. It was pretty simple to break down, though. I mean, that's just a guy going, running on the go route, making a play. Speed, kills. speed, <laughs> speed. And what does it do? It kills. There you go. Extra point attempt to come here. So they get one score back, but still a long ways to go here in this third quarter. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And able to get this out to the 25. So now out comes this offense led by their quarterback as they take over once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart. And that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Still well in control of this ball game, despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Love from the gun. Quick slant to Watson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. Play action this time with Love. Caught on the right side, Reed. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, He's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Forced out to it, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Back to throw. Love. He's got the hook up with Dobbs. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He throws it on the move but can't connect as that falls incomplete. A CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, 
You can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they hadn't called on him at all until this point, but he comes through here and buries one from long range. Yeah, that's awfully impressive because usually kickers like to get that first one out of their system in the first quarter, sort of get them into the flow of the game, but to come in this late and knock it down from long distance, give him a lot of credit. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Lions offense set to take over. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now a second and six. Here's gone. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Patrick. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. That'll put him at 95 receiving yards now as he's got a first down. To throw is gone. He'll get this one to Patrick. And he's got this down to the 35. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Well, I mean, look, obviously there's no 20 or 30 point play in that playbook, but they can try to end things here on a positive note despite trailing big, and that looks like what they're trying to do here by pushing the ball downfield. Well, let me go with the heavy cliche then, partner. Just control what you can control right now, and all they can control here is how their final plays develop. Just a gain of a couple there at its second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From the 33, here's a second and eight. To the air again. Golf. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Golf. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Eric Stokes. And the Packers are going to have it here at their own 32-yard line. CD, this defense, I mean, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. Here comes the offense again, and let's focus on Josh Jacobs for a moment. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of <laughs> know. But I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. We'll see if he can do it. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. 
He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Packers. Romeo Dobbs, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers add another six points to what's going to be a blowout victory. And that last touchdown pass not only put six points on the board, it also puts his name into the record books for the most touchdown passes in a single game. Extra point from McManus is good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. You see Tim Patrick as he and the rest of this offense get set for the upcoming series. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has in even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding the right spots, and the delivery's been pretty good, too. He's over 100 yards, has the one touchdown score to this point. Only a yard on the keeper, and it'll be second down. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Second and nine. Out of the gun, gone. And right with it here, over the middle. Yeah, they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, a touchdown here on this drive, it, it wouldn't really put much of a dent in the score, the deficit right now. But as you mentioned in the past, CD, their coach is probably just hoping to see something executed correctly on this drive before we close out the ball game. Yeah, and I think that every guy who's on the field has to feel exactly the same way because if not, they might be looking for replacements. Treat every drive as if it's your last and make it a successful one in some small way. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point where we're at in the fourth quarter with how wide this advantage is. For this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert, you would have heard plenty of sour notes in this one. But they certainly don't want to end it on one. They want to put together a few more throws like that and at least have a final drive to give them a little bit more hope as they move forward. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 26. They give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs.
Here's Gong. Finding the open man, and that's Tim Patrick. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Back to throw, gone. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And the Lions are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Now receiver in motion left. This is caught. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Khalif Raymond from four yards out. And the Lions get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Well, CD, they just haven't had a whole lot to cheer about or really grasp onto in this game. They've been dominated, but at least they get a late touchdown here, something positive to put on film for tomorrow's session. Yeah, they're still trying to execute, trying to get some positives on their board and, and ledger sheet and keep this from being a total loss. Give them credit. They're going down fighting. The extra point splits the uprights as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Now this offense headed back out, captained, of course, by their quarterback. And he has been masterful so far in leading this offense. He's kept the mistakes to a minimum. He's been on point with his passes. And he's generally been one step ahead of this defense all game long. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. You just kind of feel for the defense right now. This deficit, they have not been able to stop them the entire game, Charles. And some hands on hips, some long faces out there on the defensive side. And they're like, oh my gosh, we got to face these guys again here. Yeah, people don't understand how hard it is when you're on the side that's being dominated to keep your head up and continue to play hard. And that's what they're going through right now, trying to find that pride inside of them to allow them to continue to fight, even though they are down huge in this game. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jacobs going to try the middle. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. 13 yards, first down, Packers. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. 
And they're knocking on the door now. Has a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. Brett, and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. So that is a big one, folks. Can you believe it? Eight passing touchdowns in a single game until today that had never been done in NFL history. Well, their passing attack, even though that one was incomplete, has been really sharp in this one. It's resulted in a lot of touchdowns, and it looks like they're not going to stop throwing the football until the very end of this one. Well, that will certainly make everyone involved on offense pretty happy because that gives them all a chance to pad their stats a bit. But as far as the actual need, you and I both know they can just run this clock out because this one, it was over a long time ago. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Tucker Kraft taking it in and the Packers have taken a six touchdown lead and Charles they continue to have trouble stopping him as he's into the end zone yet again yeah that's multiple series now they've ended with him in the end zone a perfect plan on how to utilize him best when they get in close now McManus for the extra point Now this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So out now come the Lions. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. Now it's gone. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. Nice job by the defense figuring that play out and holding it to a short game, but I don't think the offense is going to be daunted. They actually accomplished their goal there. Now they've got them aware that they can throw a screen at them, maybe to slow the pass rush down a little bit, and they can throw it downfield. From the 23, here's second and nine. Gone. Oh, a short pass here taken in by Laporta. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Goff now to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. Go off throwing again. Open man right side is St. Brown. 
And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be second down. He's been a busy man here in this one, and they're showing off some nice footwork to stay in bounds. And with those types of catches and the volume that we've seen in this game, wouldn't you keep him busy as well? I would. Of course. you got to <laughs> keep throwing it to him. He keeps making plays. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as the tackle made at the 42. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Here's gone. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. He finds his man complete. It's Patrick. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Throwing again is gone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. He's got his target. That's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I looked down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Now gone. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And the Lions are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. And with that last completion, folks, he now owns the NFL record for most passing yards in a single game. Again, gone. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. And CD, they just haven't had a whole lot to cheer about here. But it may be cliche, but give them credit for this. They've continued to fight and scratch and claw, and they get the touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And I'm okay with that cliche, all right? Maybe it'll alleviate the sting a little bit, 
because at least they can look in the mirror and realize they fought all the way through. Horrible game for them, not one they'll want to remember, but at least they'll keep their heads up and have some pride when they leave this stadium. Point after, right down the middle as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Second down, Jacobs once more. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are winners here as we say so long from Lambeau.